One of the topics that I found especially interesting in the Devon vs Levon match is arm length, and this is because I had just assumed that since Devon is taller, his elbow to fingertip length as well as his forearm length would be taller. However, a lot of people had been commenting and saying that their arm length was actually the same, and I realized that we didn't have a video of them comparing this stat, and it is also pretty difficult to determine whose arm is longer based off of watching the match itself. But now, Ingen Terzi has put out a video confirming that Devon's arm length is in fact longer. Here's the clip. A little bit bigger. Did you write the same? Oh yeah. Too big. Too big. So I noticed that not only is Devin's elbow to fingertip measurement greater than Levon's, but also his elbow to wrist joint measurement is greater. And although there are a ton of different styles in arm wrestling, and no one build is technically better than another, I think that for this specific style match, Devin having a longer arm is going to hugely benefit him. Having a longer arm has its benefits and drawbacks, but for Devin, the benefit will be that he has a greater ability to rise and gain height in both the setup and in the match. This will mean that Devin will have a much easier time in his effort to force Levon to hold onto him and to isolate Levon's wrist flexion. As I've said before, I don't think that Devin's wrist rise is stronger than Levon's, but when you combine Devin's wrist rise with his ability to gain an advantage in the setup and the fact that his arm is longer than Levon's, I think that this gives Devin a very good chance of winning the battle of heights in this match. And as stated in my prediction video, I think that this is the very first necessary win condition for a Devon victory. Devon absolutely must force Levon to hold on to him, at least to a pretty good degree. Now after this, Devon will still need to crack Levon's wrist back, among a ton of other things, but if he can't even win the battle of heights initially, the rest of the match probably doesn't even matter. Devon won't even have access to the angle he needs in order to attack Levon's wrist, but seeing that Devon does in fact have this slight advantage in terms of arm length, I think boosts Devon's stock at least a bit. Now of course, if Devon does win the height battle, his arm length potentially becomes a weakness after that. The longer your arm is, the less leverage you have when generating back pressure. So this definitely is a trade-off, but since Devin does have that hard stop with his king's move, I think that this is overall a very good thing for Devin. So let me know what you guys think about all this. Firstly, did you already know that Devin's arm was longer, or did this surprise you? And secondly, do you think that Devin's arm length is going to help in this match, or is it going to hurt him? And we are now probably less than 48 hours out from the ready go.